Hello everybody, my name is JJ Menu and I'm an application engineer at ROA Electronics. Today, we have the Adafruit Music Maker playing the music. And we're gonna create our own application where the played music will depend on the ambient light. We have the VML6030 from Vichy that is used at the ambient light sensor to give us the number of flux. The data is obtained through an a c bus and sent to the Mac controller. Even if Arduino makes the programmation of the a c bus very easy, it's necessary to understand the basics in order to program it. The a c bus is a standard widely used for sensors. It was designed by Philips, called NXP Today, and works with only two lines. One line for the clock, called SCL, and one line for the data, called SDA. This last line is bidirectional. These two lines are open drain and need pull-up resistors connected to pin A and 5 of the Arduino and the pull-up resistors here that we put on the breadboard. Obviously, on the final application, you design these resistors on your own board. The master of the bus generates the clock and initiates communication with the slave. Each slave has a 7-bit address. The protocol is the following. The master sends a start bit, that is in fact just a transition from high to low of the SDA while SCL is high, followed by the seven bit address. And this address is the slave or the sensors that you want to read and communicate. Then followed by the single bit, if it wishes to write bit zero or to read bit at one from the slave. After each bit transmission, the slave responds with an SCK or acknowledge bit. SDA is in fact just put low. If the transmitter sees a bit one, it is a not acknowledge and the transmission will be over. The end of the communication corresponds to a stop bit. It is a transition from low to high of the SDA while SCL is high. A start and stop bit occur while SCA is high all other transitions of STA take place while SCA is low. Now that we understand how S2C works, we read the data in the data sheet of the VML6030 from Vichy to know the values to write in our program. First, reading the schematic of the VML6030, we can see an address pin allows configuring the address value. On our board, this pin is grounded. That means the address of the device is 010. The datasheet explains the ask interface and how to send comments. When we need to write to the device, we need to send the address, then the command code. In the VML6030, all the registers are 16 bits, and the LSB must be first. So we want to configure the VML6030 with a gain of one quarter, integration time of 100 milliseconds, and we need to power on the ambient light sensor. That means the LSB is equal to zero and the MSB is equal to 018. In our program, we define the macros, include the wire library in the setup. Wire.begin is called. Then in the loop function, we begin a transmission with the address of the VML6030. The register command 0x00 in the present case we send the LSB, an MSB, and finally, an end transmission. To have deeper explanation of these comments, you can go on Arduino website where libraries are explained. Similar way to read the data, we begin a transmission, send the register value where we want to read the data, request from function with the address and two bytes to read, and finally, we read the data. We convert the lux level in an integer and we finally decide which music to play depending on the lux value. If below 20, we play a music to sleep. Between 20 and 50 lux, a music to relax. Between 50 and 800, a music for an active life. And above 800, 
we imagined that we're outside for a party and ready for techno music. You are now ready to create your own application with any kind of sensors and customize your music player. Good luck. <laughs>